Welcome to beautiful Sandy Hago, guys. Look at that view. These are the views from the top, ladies and gentlemen. This is the view you can have if you stay consistent with trading. So guys, I made $680 in minutes trading NAS 100 today. And I want to go through the whole entire trade. I recorded the whole entire trade so you guys can see it. But I really want to break down like the psychology behind why I took the trade and the whole thought process when I was in the trade. The things that I'm going to share with you guys in this video are going to be very helpful. I used to struggle a ton with the impatience factor. I'd rush into trades. I'd close trades prematurely. But I'm going to give you guys the things that I've been using recently to really step my trading up to new levels. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys are new, hit that subscribe button for me. If you guys are looking for one-on-one -on -one help and you want someone to guide you and direct you, pause this video right now. Go to the link in my description and book a call with me. Now, on that call, we are going to see if you and me are a good fit to work with each other because my overall goal this year is to take 25 people and help them make $10,000 a month using the same exact strategy in this video. So guys, I'll see you guys in my computer right now. So I realized that I had already recorded the screen. So what I'm going to do for you guys is just play the recording of the trade and fast forward so you can see what happens. And then I will review the trade for you guys as to why I took it. Okay guys, this is a breakdown as to why I took the trade on NAS100 or NQ for all my futures traders. I was looking at the 5 minute chart and if you guys notice, we are in a downtrend right now for a lot of the indices. So I've been noticing the market lately. The past day, yesterday, Tuesday was extremely choppy just going back and forth. There really was no price action. So today, I saw that during the London session we actually broke the low of the previous days. And I was pretty sure that we were gonna see a nice drop today on NAS 100. So I've been kind of avoiding like the market open because it's been a little erratic lately. I like to just show up a little bit later because the trend has already been established later in the New York session and it's not as volatile, it's not as crazy. So as I was looking at the five minute chart, I saw price was going lower and lower, forming these lower lows, lower highs. I actually was anticipating on catching a sell right here on this doji. But as I was looking at the charts, I was on my phone and I got distracted and I look back and I see this move already had happened. So ideally that was the trade that I was going to take. And I told myself, okay, if another setup occurs, I'll take it. What I'm looking for is a lower high to be formed so I can ride price to the downside. That's exactly what I saw after this candle at 12.15, 12.20 had closed. So what did I do? I ended up taking a short position and I had my stops right above here and I was just going for a three to one. So I had it like right around here and that's what I was anticipating for price to do I don't know if I'm exactly correct on it have my position set but this is what I was looking for I had my stops right above here and I wanted price to go down 
and form a new lower low. So as I was in the trade, you guys can see like I had the recording playing, but it was going. And one thing that I've really been focused on is just not really watching the screen too much. I was preoccupied with doing something on my phone. So I'm not sitting here going through these this emotional roller coaster where as price was going back to my entry after it was in profit, I wasn't freaking out, guys. Like I was containing my emotions 100% the whole entire time. And I told myself, if it hits my stop loss, perfectly fine. If it hits my TP, even better. So price just kept going, kept breaking lows, going lower and lower. And then eventually it went and hit my TP within about 20, 25 minutes of being in the trade. So really happy with this trade that I took, but I was simply just looking at price action, looking for price to make a lower low then a lower high, and with that lower high, I wanted to see price go even lower. So pretty simple, I'm not doing anything crazy, wasn't looking for any fair value gaps or anything today, just really, really easy. And I ideally could have taken a short on this fair value gap right here that we had formed on the five minute chart, but it's fine, I got in a nice short right here, I'm happy with the trade that I took and made some nice profit. So. I think at this point in my trading career, I'm just really focused on containing myself as a trader, focused on not rushing the process, waiting for the trade to come. Once the trade is there, take my trade. So that's what I did today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you on the next one. Peace out, guys. Not a lot of people made it to the end of the video, but you did. Make sure you share this video with a friend. Also, comment below. I want to know who you guys are and how I can help you guys out with your trading. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. I'm dropping weekly videos every single week on trading to help you guys out. Look forward to seeing you guys soon.